I'd like to show you how quickly and easily you can mould the Tomed SomnoGuard AP. This is the equipment that you'll need. The instructions which are in the box, a mirror if you're going to mould it yourself, a timer, of course the appliance itself, some scissors perhaps to cut off any uh, surplus material, some, something to lift the device out of the water when it's been boiled, a litre of water which we're going to boil in a moment, the screwdriver that comes with the device, a little spanner, the two back nuts and a couple of spare screws. Boil the water in a saucepan. It is really important that it boils vigorously. This is the upper part with the C channel that we're going to mould first. So we'll drop that into our water that's just come off the boil and start the timer now. It's going to stay in there for three and a half minutes and after about a minute and a half it will rise to the surface. Well that's now been in the water for three minutes. It's got another half a minute to go. Um, in half a minute's time I'm going to take it out, shake it uh, to get rid of any of the surplus water. Let it cool for about 15 seconds so it's not too hot to put in my mouth and then I'm going to push it up onto my upper teeth with my teeth as close to the front edge of the device as I can and then uh, bite down as hard as I can onto the acrylic tray. So here we go. Now I've taken that carefully out of my mouth, pulling it down nice and vertically off my teeth and put it in some cold water. Well, I've just reboiled the water and this is the lower part. I need to pop that in the water now and then start my timer again. So three and a half minutes for this one too. Just keep it going so it doesn't hit the bottom of the pan, which is obviously jolly hot at the moment. and again like the other part in about a minute or two it'll rise to the surface. Before you put the lower part in the water it's worthwhile just making sure that the shortest screw is in and that it's fully inserted into the screw block but not extending out of the end. It's just coming up for three minutes so in half a minute's time I'm going to take the um, lower part out of the hot water and couple it into the upper part that I've already moulded by sliding the head of the screw into the C-channel. Then I'm going to put this in my mouth and, then, and bite down on the whole thing. I'll show you. So this part slides in here. Then Oh, that's a great fit. That was di quite difficult to get off of my upper teeth, which means that it's just perfect. And I've put it in the cold water, both parts now. And I'm just separating them as well so they don't stick together. And when they've cooled, I'm going to check it, but I think that's going to be a perfect fit first time. The device has nicely cooled down now, so I'm just going to couple it together again, like this, and pop it back in my mouth to make sure that everything's okay. Yep, that was a perfect fit. Very, very good. Difficult to get out, but not impossible. So it's an excellent fitting first time.
probably took us no more than 10 minutes in all. I'd also like to show you the need for the scissors. If a lot of material extruded out the back, you could have trimmed it off whilst it was still uh, quite warm. Always keep the surplus because you never know, you might need it again later on a remoulding. Here I fitted the longest screw with two of the back nuts for additional safety. You can see that the thread doesn't extend out of the end. It's very important that the thread should be more than halfway, but not more, not, not out of the end completely. And these little, this little spanner will tighten the nuts up against the plastic block. The device then fits together again. And now you can see that I've achieved an advancement of about 8 millimetres, which is fine for me. Your completed appliance should resemble this. You should have deep teeth impressions. They, your, your teeth impressions should be near the front of both the upper and the lower trays. And you should be able to slide the device, the top, against the bottom easily from side to side. I keep my uh, AP in a piece of kitchen towel when I take it out of my mouth in the morning and the best way to clean it is with Curadent, a couple of drops of this and a jolly good scrub will do the trick. It'll keep it looking absolutely pristine for months and uh, it smells nice too. You must clean both parts. Give them a jolly good going over. Oops. Rinse them off, shake them dry, pop them in a clean piece of kitchen film, kitchen roll, and uh, maybe stick them in your drawer so they're out of direct sunlight during the day.